Hello, people of the world. Welcome to today's episode of Coffee Chats with Jack, soon to be the Unity Project. I went on a road trip last week with my roommate Allie from San Francisco up to Seattle. We took the coast up to PCH, and I was super stoked to do this because I'm so into traveling. I'm so excited about traveling and seeing the world, and there's so much I want to do regarding that. But dang, this trip was a learning experience. For sure, it humbled me a lot. It showed me that I am not invincible. It showed me that I could actually die, which sounds so naive to say, but it just really opened my eyes to a lot. And I want to share this video with you, and I want to show you some of my adventures and like pretty things that I saw. But it's really important for me to let you know that the trip wasn't perfect because I know that a lot of the time, at least for me, I see stuff on Instagram of people's travels and adventures and like the whole van life movement and it looks so aesthetically pleasing and perfect and like glamorous and it makes me want that. And I still want that, but I wanna tell you that the behind the scenes of it is not perfect and glamorous. Just like life, it is a mix of really amazing but also really, really hard. Like anxiety was redefined for me during that trip. And that's not because it was a bad trip, that's just because it's just life. I just wanna let you guys in on that before I show you this video. I don't want you to get the wrong idea that everything was lovely in my life is perfect because I got to go and do this whole thing. We actually, the trip started with us stalling our first van, Buttercup, that camper van we were gonna get. The trip started with us stalling that and it breaking five minutes down the road in an intersection and we had to get out of the car and push the old van up to the side and I panicked and cried and called my dad and was like, what am I gonna do? That was the beginning of the trip. So it started off a little rough. We didn't make it to our first two campsites because we couldn't find them. We almost got stuck on top of a mountain in a really old van, different than the camper van. We ended up using a minivan <laughs> instead. So that was a whole thing. But super narrow road, super dirt, bumpy, no phone service, up to the top. Didn't see the campsite, had to turn around and go way back down. It was very, very scary. And I actually thought that was gonna be the end of it for me. All that to say, enjoy this video. I am so thankful for the chance to go on this trip. I wanna go on so many more, but it helped me see the world and life a little bit clearer from a more, I guess, humble perspective. Enjoy the video. All right, so this is day one of the uh, Buttercup Paul Simon Wonderlust tour. That's Allie. Hey. Gotta love Allie. We're, we're currently sprawled out with all of our stuff in the middle of a hotel that we didn't stay at last night, but that's fine. I'm wearing sunglasses by the wonderful Paul Paul the Rise. So good. I got my backpack from TLC. It's really casually pretty. It's not a big deal at all. Yeah, I look like the 4th of July. <laughs> and we're living on potato chips. Not sponsored by this. We but should be sponsored by these for sure. This is literally all, we've ate. all day. Just potato, I mean, um, veggie chips. That's it. Long story short, we almost died real bad. We are alive. Real bad. We're alive. We almost fell down a mountain. Now we're in this really sweet Airbnb with ducks and chicken. No, there's no ducks here. Oh, look. There's good geese. vibration. Oh, that's good. That's all this need. one's a champion because she drove us down a mountain in the dark that was like this steep and this wide. And we, we had a very died. old car. But we're alive and now we're gonna eat cheese and watch friends. All right, I just need everyone to know in this video. That. Oh, hey. oh, she's there. We camped, we got the foods and the wines and the tents and the twinkle lights. That's all I gotta know. There is my feet to prove that it's me. See? Proof. Proof by the fingers. It's the first Airbnb we made it to. <laughs> we Sorry made to it. Barely. Mario, we're watching Parks and Rec in the park. Good morning, neighbors. Woke up to a bunch of goats today. What you do? First puppies, now goats. Hi. Hi, buddy. What are you guys doing? Oh, 
puppies. Hey guys, so it is like 7, maybe 6.30 in the morning. We're in Portland. We finally made it to where we were supposed to go. This is our campsite. We're in someone's backyard, and I just want you to know that I'm so brave and outdoorsy that I'm gonna take a shower in here. I don't know how, like, which credit I'll get from actual outdoorsy people for that, but it's cold. It's 6.30 in the morning. I was really impressed because Allie and I put this tent together in like 10 minutes and I was expecting it to take like, like I was expecting it to not work and I was have to sleep in the van. But we did it, we put it together. All right, hold on, you're not, you're decent, right? Yep. There you go. That's what you call a horn van. Oh, <laughs> oh God, you're raving right. <laughs> well, and that's how you get it done when you don't care. There you go. Oh my gosh. We're gonna let her be in there. And I'm gonna play with the ducks. I would just like to say that I am very impressed by anybody who goes backpacking, and anybody who goes camping, and anybody who pitches a tent, and anybody who gets eaten by a goat, and anybody. There she is. Dream team for life. Okay, we'll see you in Oregon. We're already there. We'll see you in Seattle. Or somewhere else I along the way. I don't know how to turn it all the way off, but well. It's all good. We can wait. <laughs> so, tell, so tell me about this. Okay, so it's peanuts in a Coke bottle, but it has to be an old timey one or it tastes different. It's this called is a weird to me. Redneck root beer float. And this it's, is a tradition for you? Yeah, it's a family tradition, a Chapman tradition on road trips. Okay. And um, it tastes delicious. I couldn't figure this out. So, yeah, it just soaks in there, and it's just like... And then you drink it. Show it's just us. like edible sun, you know? Okay. Oh, it tastes so good. Try okay. it. So, super Hello. casual. This is, our, this, this is our little Look home. At this, <laughs> this is our home for the next like 12 hours. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <gasps> We're clearly very excited. I feel like a little kid, and I think I look like a little kid. I'm really pumped. I'm really excited. I don't know how to explain life right now. We're so happy. We're very happy. This is unreal. Like this is so cool. Gorgeous. This looks so good. So Allie and I went, we walked our little feet all the way right up until we couldn't go anymore. Stop, turn around. But we still did it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you so much to the different travel companies and brands that made this trip possible. Big shout out and thank you to Fueled by TLC. You were the first brand that believed in us and wanted to get involved and support us. You sent us an amazing travel backpack, such a cool travel juicer, and such a cool drone. So thank you so much. If anyone out there wants to go on an adventure, please go check out Fueled by TLC on Instagram or their website. All this is going to be links in the description box below. Check them out. They have all the stuff that you'll need. Also, big shout out to Bears Outdoor. You guys gave us really cool little pocket blankets that just fit in this cute little square. It was the best. Thank you so much for that. And Purity Coffee, worked with you guys last year. If you want like a really great organic coffee company, look up Purity Coffee online. They are wonderful, coffee tastes amazing and pure, as in the name of it. And thank you so much to the other brands that got involved. Could not have gone on that trip without you. I feel very, very inspired now. I think I even have a clearer concept for the next book that I want to write. This year, I didn't really work on any writing other than for myself, and I think that was really good. I needed to get a lot of personal time in versus trying to fit my life into a story. So this trip really sparked some inspiration and creativity for what that looks like for me in the future. So stay tuned, lots of new exciting things coming up, but thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.